hey guys welcome back to the channel i hope you're all doing it really well so in my last video i did mention that i was going to be uploading the process of the digital mushroom piece that i didn't add to my august plan of me so here it is i'm going to be briefly talking through how i did everything every digital piece that i do i learn something new so there will probably be a lot of things that you guys would do differently but this is just how i went about it and this piece took me around a week to complete so not too bad um, i'm gonna try not to talk too much so i can just let you guys enjoy the video so in the first few clips you would have seen me do like the final outlines of my sketch i always do this because my sketch is extremely rough and doing final outlines allows me to get rid of or add bits and then i use the same color palette that i used for the other piece which if you haven't seen in my august plan with me i'll put it in the cards right here so that you'll be able to see the other piece that i did and i just used these same base colors for that and then i added some different shades I worked in layers just so that I could correct any mistakes really quickly and also allow me to alpha lock the layers so I don't go outside the lines and it just makes it a lot easier to blend because you don't have to be as precise with the brush. Um, it's really important that you do add layers in my opinion because it's like working on lots of different little elements without disturbing the others. I almost forgot to mention that the orientation of this video is different to my usual videos but I did it like this this time around just so I could use it across other platforms. In this clip right here I just copy and pasted part of these mushrooms just to save me from having to recolor them all because they were exactly the same species of mushroom on this side. So I did the base colours and I went in with my first layer of shading which were just a few shades darker than the base colour and then I blended everything out. Once I blended that out I went in with an even darker shade or darker layer which is my second layer of shading and I blended that out too. And my main goal was to just add lots of shadows and highlights to make the mushrooms look somewhat realistic and just have more substance. So quickly on brushes, there are a few that I normally would use, so I will try and link the those ones in the description and if I can't find the links then I'll just write the names of them just in case you guys wanted to know what brushes I use. But to be honest, I don't really focus too much, like I'm not too specific on the brushes I use, I only just know that I like a good basic sketch brush, a clean sketch and a good blending brush and that's about it really. And I feel like the reason I'm not too specific on brushes is because I think it really just depends on the piece that you're doing. So whatever uh, uh, that requires, then I'll just find the brush that fits that. So my last layer was for details and highlights. And I edited out most of the highlight footage because they were just like really subtle and you couldn't really see them. Um, I then changed my background to black and with that comes unwanted like white outlines because of like the alpha locking and everything. So I went in and I erased all of those too and also any of the mistakes I had made to just make everything really clean. And then I finally merged all of my layers together to turn it into one final piece. And sometimes when you do this, other mistakes may come up too so I fix those as well. I hope you all enjoyed this quick little video it was a pretty short one but i just wanted to show you guys how i did the mushroom piece in case you guys was interested in it and i also feel like it deserved its own screen time <laughs> um, but don't forget to like as it really helps out the channel and also subscribe if you guys enjoy my content and i shall see you in the next 